Hey friends, it's Rabbi Jenny Solomon here at Beth Meyer Synagogue on this, the day before Pesach, the day before Passover. So one of the things that I love so much about preparing for this holiday and moving through the themes of Pesach is just all the deep inner um, spiritual work. But it's helpful in these moments to remember that it's it's not just an inner journey. It's also an outer one. We are invited, we are obligated to get on the ground, on our hands and knees and clean and sort and um, turn over our kitchens and our pantries and really with our bodies, uh, get ready for this, this week long journey um, in which we celebrate freedom and liberation. So um, that said, I also um, have to remind myself and therefore am reminding all of you that the journey to freedom is not meant to recreate an experience of slavery. So when we're down on our hands and knees and we are cleaning and inspecting, um, know that that we do this l'shem um, chayrut, that we do this for the sake of going free, not of constricting ourselves and enslaving ourselves. Again, whether that's an internal experience or an external one. One of the moments that I find so beautiful will actually come uh, later tonight when we do our final bidikat chametz, when we look for the chametz that's still remaining in the house. And of course, there are all kinds of games and rituals and routines around that process. But here's the part that I love the best. At the very end, um, when the kids have found whatever chametz plants um, we have set for them and we've sorted everything and covered everything, um, we read out this declaration in Aramaic actually called Kol Chamira, in which we proclaim that any chametz that is left over, that we have missed, um, that we have overlooked, it is nullified. It's as if it is not there. The preparation that we have undergone is enough. It's enough. And we're enough, just as we are. The journey to liberation is, is nothing we ever reach once and for all. It's an ongoing process. And so too, on the outside, as we prepare our, our homes, there's a moment to reach, whether you reach it tonight or you reach it tomorrow morning, or maybe you reach it five minutes before your Seder begins, where you say and declare with full confidence and spirit, enough, it's enough. Everything that is left over is nullified. I'm ready. I'm ready to go free. Chag Sameach, everyone. Wishing everyone a sweet and meaningful holiday, body and soul. Shalom. Peace.